Hello everyone, I am Saitek and welcome back to my channel Saitek and in today's try to uh, compare the night mode comparison between all of these three smartphones which I got right now. So starting with the Realme X1 Max and next phone is the IQ uh, 7 device as you can see friends. This is IQ 7 smartphone and third phone is MI 11 X device. So I'll try to include directly the images. So five images which are taken during the night mode. So these are extreme night mode condition friends. So I think uh, close to only 5% of uh, 5 to 10% of light will be there. Visibility is there. Not much visibility. So I did try to take the extreme night mode conditions, indoor conditions only so maybe next time i'll try to do the outdoor extreme night mode shots so make sure to stay tuned in case if you are interested in this kind of videos so i'll try to definitely include this kind of direct images in the video so you'll be able to see actually the direct clarity about the images so which phone has got what type of clarity in terms of the night mode so first thing is that quickly note uh, i did like the iq7's night mode you will definitely see the results in the images how the iq7 was able to handle in terms of the night mode capabilities and second phone was the best uh, close to realme x1 max and mi 11 slightly deal me x on max and mr and slightly i think close to each other but second position i'll try to give the real mix on max and third to the mi 11x device this is only in terms of the night mode shots so this was night mode shots comparison only friends not any other shots only night mode shots comparison i'll try to do let's see which phone will which phone is the winner you can try to comment below which phone you like in terms of the night mode as well so right now as you can see friends i'm trying to use uh, all the three smartphones directly images as you can see so these are the realme x1 max and the iq sound and the ml nx device so this is the exact sh same shot which are taken in all the three smartphones as you can see the difference so i did feel the iq sound is slightly uh, more good in terms of the extreme night mode shots yes in the extreme in the extreme conditions the iq sound will be the really good and there's another example as well you can clearly see in this exact spot as you can see friends the iq7 was able to capture more of the light so more light and more details you can clearly see how much difference it's there between the iq7 and the realme x1 max and even the mi 11x as well you can see the clearly how much detail you can point out in the iq7 device so this is the reason friends from the beginning of using this phone i did feel the same thing about the iq7 device in terms of the night mode shots it's really incredible in terms of the night mode yes absolutely so only i'm really impressed with the night mode shots and even the ultra stabilization as well that is another thing which i'm really impressed and right now you can see clearly this is another shot which are taken so it's absolutely really good friends if you want i can definitely do the live demonstration as well in front of the camera i can take the shots and i can show you exactly the results how it looks but overall in this one shot you will be able to see how much clarity we can actually get in the iq7 device in the night mode shots i'm not uh, saying anything about the another cameras or anything main sensor nothing i'm only talking about the night mode in terms of the different main sensor and all of the sensors it's completely different case but in night mode it's really good so these are same in the little bit kind of lighting condition you will expect same kind of results so in the lighting little bit so you can expect the same kind of results but the thing magic happens only in the extreme conditions only in the iq7 device this is where the actual magic happens in the iq7 and this is another uh, small clip which are small image which are taken in my room as you can see the details on the wall of how much details you can actually capture with the iq7 it looks like night and day difference absolutely with the iq7 and other phones so few of the shots i'm really impressed when even even i'm really shocked to see this kind of performance levels in terms of the night mode mainly so i i'm trying to find out all this kind of differences between all these three smartphones each and every category like night mode and main sensor and video recording and stabilization all these details and this is my favorite shot as well so which are recorded using the mlnx device which is really good in terms of the night mode capabilities so you can get really great shots in this way as you can see friends absolutely so this is the final conclusion friends about this uh, night mode capabilities in this all the three smartphones so the final winner is iq7 only in, the, in terms of the night mode capabilities in terms of having better lighting as well so that is the main re reason why i selected the iq7 so you did see the live demonstration proof as well how well the night mode shots are really created in this iq7 device so in case if you have any other queries regarding the three smartphones let me know in the comment section below definitely i'll be able to make the videos on this particular topic as soon as possible for you all in case if you are interested to watch so that will be my uh, really great advantage to test this kind of scenarios in my channel so very soon I'm planning to buy the Poco F3 GT and OnePlus Nord 2 as well. So in case if you have any other queries, queries regarding this OnePlus Nord 2 and Poco F3 GT, let me know in the comment section below definitely. I'll try to plan to buy the Nord 2 but I'm not sure. But Poco F3 GT I'm buying 100% because a lot of users they are really interested in the Poco F3 GT most of the time. So thank you for watching this video friends and I'll see you in the next video. Until then stay tuned for more updates. Bye.